Hey y'all, I'm back. I'm back again. Um, I finally finished this uh, cookbook journal. Sort of, it's more, really more cookbook stuff, but farmhouse as well. Kind of like the um, the last ones I did. I only used the cookbook with this one. And um, I showed this when I was doing my farmhouse journals last week uh, that I was waiting on the book corner. So I got the book corners and I finished um, the tassel. I went back and added some other things to the tassel, a couple of other fabric pieces, and then just a few little buttons. <clears throat> I did tie around some wax linen thread if you want to add other things. I started to make it super chunky and add beads and stuff, but then I thought, no, I added this other charm uh, with the vintage price tag and the key, and then this little um, sort of slide with this little lady, and um, the livestock, and the uh, milk, milk tab, milk, um, oh my gosh, the milk pog. And then some other little pieces. So this is a this is off an old piece of jewelry. It's a little horse that I wire wrapped, and then a little leaf, and there's a heart, and then the chicken. So this is totally removable. You can take this off, and you can take these pieces if you want to and add them onto here, um, or you can use them other ways in the journal, or you can just keep it just like this. It's totally up to you. But that's the charm and tassel. And then I made another bag. So this bag, I used an old calendar. So this is Bless This House. And then um, what I did was I cut it in two pieces. So this was from a 1974 fabric calendar. And then I used um, another, I think this was more like a, a couple of pieces of placemat. It's a thicker, fabric um but it's old it's vintage so i used that for the bottom and then i came back and put a piece of eyelet where i attached these two pieces together just to kind of give it a little little something extra so this came out really cool um yeah i think this is really neat i love this image and i've been trying to figure out a way to use this without like cutting it up but I thought this went really well with this. So it's a it's a good size bag and the book fits in there. So you'll get that and then you'll also get, you know, a healthy little pack of fabrics pieces. Okay, so um, there's all that will come with it. Now, it won't be any more paper than what's in here because this thing is absolutely stuffed, okay? So, um, yeah, I'm going to put this in the shop. Um, I'm going to put this in the shop tomorrow. Today's Saturday. I'm going to try to keep this fairly short. So this is the really scrappy tie on this one. And you can see how it's really fraying. And this is quilt. So these are all uh, quilt pieces, vintage quilt pieces on here. Okay. <clears throat> um, I'm going to put this in the shop tomorrow. I think at 5 p.m., Eastern Standard Time, I figured out how to do my <laughs> Etsy thing again and save them as drafts. So I've got to do all that. I've got to take the pictures and do the listing. And then I have um, I have a couple other journals that I finished. I finished two poo journals. And so my, my goal right now was to finish up some journals I had started. So I started the I started the poo journals when I did the other poo journal back in January. So I wanted to finish those. And then, of course, this one I was working on when I did the farmhouse journal. So it was pretty much done. I was just waiting on the corners. So as you can see, it's super chunky. Now, I don't have a whole lot of things hanging off the side and things like that because I'm not sure how. Um, that's just how this one ended up, okay? So um, this is a quilt piece as well. And if you see, these are... Um, they almost look, they almost look like chickens. You see that? 
It almost looks like a chicken. It could just be a flower, but it really just kind of reminds me. It looks like chickens to me. It's old. It's like this is old feed sack. I'm pretty sure it was just a couple of pieces that um, squares that I had in my stash. So this is five signatures. I did the five whole pamphlet stitch on this one. Um, and I put ticking on the inside. So, and then there's a pocket on the front with this really cool, I layered this. This is a thinner fabric, so it's got the cherries on it. And I just layered it with a piece of cotton um, fabric behind it. So there's a pocket in the back and a pocket in the front. And like I said, it's it's um it's super chunky. It's filled with a lot of stuff, but you can it does lay flat. The spine has some flexibility in it. You know, it's not really it's not super. It's got some flexibility. It's not super tight. So, <clears throat> um, and this is from like the 50s. So this is one of the. I think this was from the 50s, and you can see it's been well loved. Okay, I cleaned it up. Um, there is sort of a little scratch across here. But this cookbook was well loved, but it's still gorgeous. Um, but the the corners were really the corners were really bad, which doesn't bother me on a journal. But if I'm going to sell something, I want it to be you know, I didn't want it like that. So so I'm just going to kind of flip. So there's a a really cool really cool vintage photo here of these folks. I think I think this came in some Happy Mail from Renee. But, um, yeah, I just thought that was cool. And then a, a Coca-Cola um, card. And this is scrapbook paper. So there's scrapbook paper on the beginning and ending of the signature, but the rest of this is repurposed. So this is from the actual cookbook, 1950. So the copyright's down here. And I stitched that to, um, this is some of that drawing paper, okay? And then these, this cookbook had the pages like this that look like the tab pages from the binders. Um, I used some of those in here. Some tea dyed paper, um, old recipe book pages, and then I put some of these, um, some of these little photo things like that Tamara sent me, and I stuffed the pockets. So there's one of my tags here. There's um, vintage vintage recipes in here. This is vanilla Bavarian cream. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm shaky today. I don't know what's wrong with me. I haven't been feeling well this past week. Um, had some kind of virus or something. Anyway, I put some uh, <clears throat> dairy, some of those dairy recipes in here um, that are really old from the 40s. And then some other recipe cards. This is an old recipe that was typed up. It's like red in red. Some of those other really cool recipe pages. Wallpaper, clipped in a couple of things here. Um, this is vintage wallpaper. Vintage music, of course, Richard Scary. Uh, some vellum, and then the recipe pages. And this is called the Sunset Cookbook. Um, yeah, really cool. That really pretty, really pretty pages in it. Um, so there's still a ton of space. I just tucked, you know, I took several things in um, with paper clips. Like these are some really cool. I found these. I've been going through my stash. So these are some really old, cool uh, typed up recipes from an old recipe book from somewhere. So it's like chicken hot dish, shipwreck casserole, <laughs> India dish on rice, hamburger stew. You know, scalloped potatoes, patio baked beans, potato salad, beef potato boats, orange glazed pork chops. Just um, some really cool, really cool recipes and really kind of cool names. I thought. <clears throat> this was a child craft page that I pulled out to use and I didn't end up putting it in the book. This is Mary's Lamb. Um, on the back, it's Sing a Song of Sixpence. So yeah, I just couldn't, and then these little edges of the pages um, on the other side. I did some tabs from the decorating magazine. This is an old, old linen that I made into a pocket here. There's nothing in this pocket. I have this thing so stuffed, y'all. 
It's like, if you go through and pull some of these thicker things out, it'll give you more room, too. Here's one of my little, um, there's another one of those recipes, and then here's one of my little tags I made. This is from my old, um, flash card, and then I put a little, um, this little check, part of another little vintage invoice, and this little image is this little girl with a dog on here. I just thought it was really cute. Just, kind of, just reminds me, you know, farmhouse country. So that's the first signature, and then the second signature used the little golden book page. I think this is from a We Help Mommy, and the the, um, the little girl and boy are putting up groceries. To, um, stuffed a whole bunch of stuff in there. And some of Renee's avocado paper, more recipe, ledger. This is from that, um, I think it's called like How to Be a Wallflower or something. It's a really cool book. This is from a grocery bag. And then there's other things tucked in here. There's a um, vintage margarita pie recipe and some other recipe cards. Those aren't vintage. Um, yeah, but I used, uh, yeah, I used a grocery bag in here. Made little pockets out of it. Really cool old uh, recipe book. More scrapbook paper with the roosters. This is some of that sort of resume paper that I tea dyed. Richard Scary in the flower garden. Another one of those little photo sleeves with stuff um, stuffed in here. <clears throat> the other side of the grocery bag with more things tucked in. And um, I used this from that wallflower book because I love this. It is the sweet, simple things of life, which are the real ones after all. And that's Laura Ingalls Wilder. And then on the other side, it says, eat berries straight from the vine, which I like that too. So. so that's the second signature. The third signature used some of that uh, vintage table linen that's got the chicken on it. And then there's another one of these. I think I put three or four of these in here. Um, this one's cream of tomato soup, these little um, dairy distributors. And then uh, this is from the paper line, or one of the paper lines. I used, used a couple uh, between all these farmhouse journals that I did. I did add uh, some of these other photo sleeve pages and I stitched them um, just to keep them from coming apart and added vintage recipe cards. More Richard Scary, the cow. More of that resume paper. This is the paper that has not been tea dyed. Really nice. This would be really nice to write your recipes and stuff on. If you truly want to use this as a cookbook, you know, um, this nice writing paper. This is one of those books, a page from one of those books that I found. Um, I was in North Carolina on my way to Tennessee, but it's, a, um, they're like little budget books from the 50s, I think. This is from another cookbook. And this is Ledger. So what I did was I, I stitched this envelope onto this side of the ledger so that this would tuck like that. So that you can still write on this or use this. You can still write on this. You can write on the envelope. And then inside here, I tucked, um, so those pages that I used, there's three on each one. And I cut those off the top and I stuck those in there in case you want to use those, put more recipes in. And then that just tucks like that. Then you can write on this side. There's a really old um, tab page for bread. Some more ledger. This flips out. So there's a lot of writing space in here. I stuffed a lot of stuff in here. Um, this is from another children's book. I can't remember the name of it, but I thought she was cute. She's like carrying the chicken. <laughs> anyway. And then this side I think is like they're, they're camping out. So it looks like somebody's cooking over here and there's all these little things. So it's like the kids are camping out outside. More um, vintage wallpaper. This is that really nice 
vintage ledger. <clears throat> Music, the other side. Then here, um, here's a tag I made out of one of these little index cards that Danielle sent me. Oh, and I forgot I'm gonna add, I forgot I'm gonna add a little, um, I'm gonna add something up here, a little flower or something. I didn't add one of the little flower, the one of the little buttons, excuse me, felt buttons. So I'm gonna go back and do that. So I'm gonna leave that out. Okay. Oh, and then I had, yeah, I had this little page um, that I didn't end up using that I thought was cute with the little animals. I had it clipped in on the other side. And then here is the little, um, the big flashcards that Renee sent me that I altered. And I put this little Saturday shop in to market to market uh, image on here from the child craft and then some vintage ledger and stitched around it and put the little fabric and rick rack and a little milk, little milk tab up there. And then the back is quite enough writing, quite a bunch of writing space on it. So I just tuck this in. And then here is another pocket that stuffed some of that, some of the scrap pieces and some other book pages. And then this is an image um, with the poem called Hickety Pickety. So I just took the little Hickety Pickety part and put it in here. And then you can write, you know, you can write right here. This is from a um, Corinne Malvern Mother Goose book. Another grocery bag, bunch of little things from the scrapbook line tucked in. Um, from the actual recipe book about cakes. I thought this was so pretty. More of that beautiful ledger, another <clears throat> another pocket. I'm trying to get through this kind of quick, y'all, because this book <laughs> this book is so thick. Um, more vintage wallpaper. This is a really nice texture wallpaper, um, but it'd be super fun to write on or maybe paint or add things to. And then I use this in the middle. Um, this is a page from the book from the cookbook. Um, about breads. Here I tucked in one of those little postalettes. I just haven't folded it up, so this was the one with a little, another one with a little farm scene, and a vintage playing card, and another little vintage image that almost looks like it says "bird's eye view of the tavern." I think this came in some happy mail from Renee. I thought that was cute. So I added that in there. And then why am I not moving? Okay. Let's see. Other side of the grocery bag. I did put a pocket on the back of here with some vintage fabric. This also came from Renee. Um, she sent me so many awesome things. And then this is the last signature. Another um one of those with all the with rest, blank recipe cards. These, this is the one that fold. This is one that folds out. Here's what's cooking. There's some really neat things in here, y'all. I'm just not pulling them all out because I'll be here all day. And when I do the 45 minute videos, it takes hours to get them to load. There's some of that beautiful yellow, yellow ledger. Just really cool, fun stuff. Here's another little pocket that I made from an image from a children's book and tucked more little things in here. More Richard Scary music. This is some really cool wallpaper too. I've had in my stash for a while. I thought it was really cool because it had the little guy on the horse down here. Um, and then here's another one of those little images with the little boy and his horse. It's just the little boy and the horse. I don't think Grandpa's in that that photo. Okay. And then the center of this signature is uh, from that that same uh, sort of summer book. I can't even remember the name of it. Yeah, summertime work and play, but that's not the name of the book. Um, just really cool. 
he's standing up here. You can see the geese are flying. He's up on the hay. This little guy's standing down here near the barn. <clears throat> really cool. And then here's the little, uh, here's the Richard Scary cutout that I did and backed it on file folder of him riding the tractor. <laughs> so you could tuck that somewhere as a, use that somewhere as a tuck. scrapbook paper here's a little uh, journaling card this was the um the little about the little egg book or how chicks are born and this is an actual tab page from another cookbook another pocket with some stationery tucked in and there's an envelope back here and then there's a recipe this is from another um this is from another, uh, this is from like a craft book. So this, teach, this, this particular page teaches you how to make a wreath, yeah. And then I had some of these little bags in my stash. I just tucked this in here in the back. And then that's the end of the fist signature. Now in here, these are some things that I fussy cut out of other cookbook pages that I thought would be fun. I was gonna go in like on some of the plain pages and glue some of these things in, but then I thought, well, let me let whoever purchases this journal do that and they can have fun. You can make, you know, you can put it on whatever pages you want and or make recipe cards with them. So I just thought these were really neat. Um, and this paper is pretty, pretty sturdy you can see I didn't I didn't back it on anything I just cut it out of the actual pages but really cool little I love the little the little cup and the spoon and the teacups so yeah so I just included these back here in this little sleeve and this is also um, you know a little photo sleeve that you can use um, somewhere else in your book too okay and I've got a sign and I haven't signed it yet but that is that chunky baby okay and I've got to add I've got to add a button there but <clears throat> so this will be in the shop around tomorrow afternoon at 5 I'm gonna come back with another video um, I'm gonna try to get them done today um, it might be in the morning before you actually see them it's Saturday afternoon right now but um, yeah I've been trying to finish these things up and and get them in the shop for you guys if you're interested so, oh, and I didn't tell you. So this is, and I'll put, so this is six and a half by 10 is the size. And then it's a two and a half inch spine, okay? It's not rounded, it's flat, but it's flexible. You know, like I said, it's, even though it's chunky and you can remove a lot of the stuff in here that causes more of the thickness too. Um, and that'll help with some of the bulk if you don't want to leave it all in there. Anyway. All right, I'll be back shortly with the poo journals. Um, I'm gonna do a flip through of those. And I have one more journal, I'm not quite finished with it yet. That's the Tale of Benjamin Bunny that I started when I did the um, bunny books a couple months ago. <clears throat> and I just didn't finish it. I had it pretty much done. I just didn't have the details done. So that's what I've been working on, trying to finish those little details on um, the poo books and that book. And then I'm going to move on to something else. Okay. So, anyway, I'll be back shortly. Love you guys. As always, thanks for watching. And welcome to my new subscribers. And welcome back to my subscribers who've been with me for a while. And always, as always, let me know what you think. And I will see you shortly. Bye.